This will be a complete guide into farming leaves, XP, and JP in Octopath Traveler 2. There will be timestamps in the description highlighting certain parts of this video. Before we start, make sure to check out my second channel called Ochet. I don't want to spam the main channel with a bunch of short videos, so I will be posting short form content there later this year. Before we can start farming, we will need the proper accessories. This is to maximize how much leaves, XP, and JP we can get after battle. If you are farming for leaves, make sure to grab the Prosperity Charm in the Cropdale Tavern. Complete a quick side quest at night and the Prosperity Charm will be yours. The JP Augmenter can be found in the Cavern of Waves right above Beasting Bay Anchorage in a red chest. For the XP Augmenter, take your boat and head out to the sea. Head to where Oswald was imprisoned, and you will find the red chest that contains the XP Augmenter. The Brooch of Joy increases both XP and JP gained. For this, head over to Winterbloom and steal this item from Melia. This item can only be taken from her via Throne's Path action. Make sure to complete Melia's side quest as it may be a prerequisite to getting this item. I had already beaten her quest, so I'm not sure if it's required, but it is a short quest and only takes a few minutes. Now that we have all of our leaves, XP, and JP boosting items, we will need to find all of the items to boost our rare encounter rate. In the town of Trapu Hapu, you can find a cape powder behind this lady. Use any of your path actions to make her go unconscious and you will find it inside of a red chest. The next cape powder can be found in Clockbank. There will be an NPC who gives out a quest who stands right here. Guide that person up a screen and head left to where this little girl and cat can be found. Interact with her cat and after that you will have the second Kate Powder. For the Octopuff Pot, head to the town of Koning Creek. This fisherman will have an Octopuff Pot on him that will be stealable. After stealing the pot, make your way inside of the tavern. There will be a man named the Octopus Enthusiast. Use any of your guiding path actions to have him follow you. Travel to Montawise and talk to this man named the Octopus Researcher. The Octopus Researcher gives you a quest and upon bringing the Enthusiast to him, you will gain the next Octopuff Pot. The last Octopuff Pot can be found on Lighthouse Island, just next to where Oswald was imprisoned. This item will be in a red chest. Now that we have all of our accessories, we have to set up our support skills. Keep in mind that the builds you see on screen aren't used particularly for anything. I just click optimize and then gave them their accessories. At the bare minimum, you will need the XP and JP augmenter and the brooch of joy. Equipping multiple cape powders or octopuff pots will help out with rare spawns that give out a lot of XP and JP. And yes, I know that the support skill upgraded accessories doesn't work with the XP or JP augmenter. I changed Ochette's accessories and forgot to swap out her support skill. Ochette usually has plus accuracy items on her while farming, that was why I had upgraded accessories equipped. I would recommend you have one character with all four of these support skills. Extra Experience, Hard Worker, Life in the Shadows, and More Rare Monsters. You want to have at least one hunter in the group with the support skill a step ahead. The more characters you have with a step ahead, the easier the farming will be. Boost Start is also a very good option for a support skill. If you are farming for leaves, make sure to equip the Prosperity Charm and the support skill Grows on Trees. Additionally, you can use Particio to hire others who can help you gain more leaves or save more leaves. If you do plan on farming leaves, I would highly suggest that you defeat every encounter that you come across in the highest level dungeon that you have access to. After setting up your accessories and support skills, head over to Willgrove. Go to Alrond's estate and recruit Alrond. His skill is called Treasure Smill. He grants your entire party a multiplier of XP or JP in battle. The multipliers will either be 2, 10, or 100. To recruit Alrond, make sure you have completed Particio's story and Misha's side quest. You can recruit Alrond with Ochets if you have 3 Octopath Bowls. With Particio for 160,000 leaves, Agnia with a super low percentage, or Temenos if you have him at level 80. 
After recruiting Alrond and setting up your accessories and support skills, head to a high level area that is at least level 45 or higher. It would be best to choose an area that has a dungeon boss as they give out a huge amount of XP. I do my farming in the Infernal Abyss. Once in the dungeon, go to the save point and drop a save. After that, change it to nighttime to increase your encounter rate. Additionally, the alluring ribbon will also help increase the speed of which encounters happen. Walk around until you encounter the boss, a chubby cake, or a king octopuff. You can choose to defeat or run away from all other encounters. If you are farming for leaves, I would highly recommend that you defeat all of the encounters. When you do eventually encounter a chubby cake or king octopuff, I would highly recommend that you capture all of them. The chubby cakes give an extremely useful item that can be used to further boost XP gained, and king octopuffs give an item that can be used to recruit Alrond. I did make a video on how to capture them, so make sure to check that out. After capturing the chubby cake, make sure to summon Alrond. Alrond can only be summoned 3 times and has 6 different chances of granting you times 100 XP or JP. If you didn't get times 100 XP or JP, whichever one you wanted, go ahead and flee the battle, exit to the title screen, load back in, and repeat this process. If he does give you times 100 XP, go ahead and use a jewel cake to increase the amount of XP gained after battle. Jewel cakes can be prepared by Uchet after capturing a chubby cake. That is why I recommend you capture all of the chubby cakes that you come across. After using your jewel cake, go ahead and finish up the battle. If you did summon Alrond all three times, go back to Woolgrove and recruit him again and repeat this process. If done correctly, you should receive well over 200,000 XP for the chubby cakes. The Dreadwolf encounter also grants a massive amount of XP. With the Dreadwolf, you basically want to do the same thing you did with the Chubby Kate, but there are a few things that you do want to add in. When you do encounter the Dreadwolf, make sure to summon out Alrond as soon as you can. Don't break the Dreadwolf's shield until he summons his backup. Defeating these smaller wolves will give you extra XP and JP at the end of the battle. The fact that the Dreadwolf can call in backup puts him above all other dungeon bosses in terms of XP and JP gained. When you eventually get a times 100 XP multiplier, go ahead and use a jewel cake, then end the battle. If you didn't get the times 100 XP multiplier, go ahead and leave the battle, exit to the title screen, load it back in, and try again. The easiest way to defeat the Dreadwolf is by capturing it with Ochet. The Dreadwolf does have an extremely nasty ability that allows him to dodge and counter all boosted attack and latent powers. You can also increase the amount of XP gained in battle by achieving two additional feats. The first one is by breaking an enemy which will give a 10% boost after battle. The second way is to overkill the enemy by dealing massive amounts of damage before they die. This also gives a 10% boost, which totals up to an extra 20% of your XP gained after battle. Do try and make sure that you get both these bonuses as this can get you over 50,000 experience points alone. If you want to do the same thing for JP, go ahead and find a King Octopuff and implement the same strategy. The King Octopuff grants more JP than every other enemy in the game. Try to capture it if you can and then wait for a times 100 JP multiplier. If you guys did find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Also, check out my other channel. Very well. Come, little lamb. <laughs> Here I go. This will make it all right. My turn. There. My prey away. to do. Well now. 
Very well. Come, little lamb. I owe you. My prey awaits. Can't let my quarry escape. To work. Here you go. Cleaning time. 